G'day, how you doing? Adam Williams here from Easy Wave Photoshop. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at moving objects around our photos. So let's open up a file. And here we have this rather simple image of an island by the name of Sugarloaf Rock. It's located in Western Australia, and it's going to make the perfect example for us to move this island around the frame a little. You can see it currently sits not quite centre and not really far enough to the left to be in a great position. It's kind of in between here. So by making a copy of this island, we're going to attempt to shift it over to the right a little bit. Now because we're going to make a copy, we need a layer selected that contains actual photographic pixels. So the background layer is a perfect example of a layer that contains actual photo pixels. However, if we had a bunch of curves layers on top here, like so. These layers don't contain photographic pixels, so we wouldn't want one of those selected when we're trying to make a copy of this island here. So I'm just going to delete those for now. Now the next thing that we need to do is make a really generous selection around this island here. And for that we're going to use the lasso tool, which is the third tool down. One, two, three click on that and we just want the standard lasso tool and if you're not sure you can click and hold that tool there and just make sure that the standard lasso tool has that little white selection box next to it. If it doesn't just click on there and change it over to the standard lasso tool. And now we're going to make a really generous selection so really generous look all the way out here all the way around like so. This just gives us a lot of room to then manually blend this in. Just something like that. Now you'll notice I have the feather up the top here set to zero. You could in fact play with that a little bit and maybe have somewhere between 15, 20 or even 30 pixels depending on the resolution of the image which will then feather this selection a little bit. However I tend to like to manually feather the selection myself and that's the example I'm going to show you here. Next step, we either right click within the selection and choose layer via copy here, or we can just press command or control J and you can see that selection has been made into a layer there, layer one. So we have that selection that we've made as a layer, which is what we're looking for. The next step is to choose the Move tool, which is the top tool in the panel here. And we could then as easily just press the right arrow key and hold that down and you can see the island is shifting to the right. We could definitely do it that way. Or we can just pick up and drag with the mouse and plonk that island down wherever we want. Now you'll notice if we go too far to the right, some of that existing island underneath starts to show, so that's not going to be ideal. We really want to be a little bit conservative and potentially just plonk the island down somewhere there. Now you'll notice if I zoom in once using Command or Control and the plus key, that the horizon doesn't quite line up where we stand there. So it's just now a case of using the down arrow key to get that horizon to line up perfectly like so. We can just bump that down one pixel at a time. I'm now just going to zoom back out, Command or Control minus. And the next thing that we need to do is blend off these edges here. You can see there's rather sharp edges there. Now as I said, we could have adjusted the feather initially when we made the selection and potentially they would be a lot better. However, I prefer just to do all my masking and blending manually. So let's take a look at that. The very first step, making sure that that layer 1 is selected, we're going to add a mask, which is this rectangle with a circle in the middle. Click on that. And then press B for brush. And then making sure initially our opacity and our flow is at 100%, and the hardness is on 0 there. We also need to make sure that we're painting with a black brush. So you can see here I've got the white and the black and the white is on top. I'm just going to reverse that using this small arrow key. 
so that the black is on top. You can also press X as a keyboard shortcut to reverse those colors there. And then with a slightly bigger brush, around that big, the very first thing that I'm going to do is just paint over that harsh edge right the way around. Like so. Now you can see that hasn't blended perfectly just yet, but we just wanted to remove that harsh edge first of all. And now we'll soften up that brush a little bit by lowering the opacity to around 50% and the flow to around 50%. And with a slightly bigger brush, using the square bracket keys to adjust, we can just start to feather in from the outside, like so. And we'll start on the sky here first. Just like that. Just click and drag several times, making sure that we don't reveal anything from underneath that we don't particularly want within the image. And that has the sky looking really good. Next I'm going to zoom in once, Command or Control Plus, and use the space bar to click and drag around. We just need to make sure that we don't have any half opacity rocks. So some rocks that are half opacity, so half one layer and half the other, we just need to make sure that we have all the rocks 100% opacity. You can see what's happening here as I slowly brush those in. And you can see down here, Slightly bigger brush there. Click and drag using the space bar to navigate around. And we're just clearing out some of those areas like so. That's starting to look really good. Something like that there. You can see there's a half opacity rock here. And just bring that in. Bring that back like so. Nice there. Beautiful. You can see we've brought back some of the detail from the island underneath there, which we need to sort out in a minute. I just make sure there isn't any other sections where we have kind of half blended rocks. That's looking really good. Move up here to this section where the island from underneath has come back. We need to switch our brush back to white, so I'm going to press the X key on the keyboard, and you'll notice these panels will switch. There they go there. And we just paint back over the top there with a smaller brush. Something like that. Command or Control minus to go back to view full screen there. And you can see before and after. Before, after. I've just noticed there's some half opacity rocks in the foreground here. Just here. So I'm going to switch back to the black brush and just paint those out there. There we go. Command or Control minus and before and after. And you can see, at least in my opinion, it's a slightly more pleasing composition with the island in a more central location there. Before and after. Now this is something that I would generally do right at the very start of my workflow. I'll set up the base file like this and then once I'm happy I'll go ahead and start adding all those adjustment layers. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks again for watching along. I look forward to seeing you at the next one. Bye for now.